Hey there and welcome to the Typey Toad video design series. In this episode, we'll tell you how you can take your photos and create an amazing video. Whether you have a couple of photos lying around from a wedding you just attended or a business trying to do a presentation or even if you're a non-profit to showcase the impact that you've had, videos is definitely the answer. So if you want to know how you can take your photographs and create a kick-ass video, stay tuned. This tutorial will be showcased on Typeito, so if you don't already have an account, click the link in the description box below to get started. So once you've logged in, this is what your Typeito dashboard is going to look like. Next, you will have to click on the new project button and choose the right format and aspect ratio for your video. So whether it's LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook or Instagram. For this particular tutorial, I will go ahead with the Instagram 9 is a 16 vertical and I press create here i go ahead and upload the photos that i have on my desktop already one thing i like to do is put all these photographs into one folder which makes the process so much more easier so yeah now i just give it a minute or so for all the media files to upload and done. so now i go ahead and click the create project button this will take me to the typeito workspace this is where we'll be editing our video today the first thing I like to do is rename my project, which helps me organize it all together. So it's I'm going to put it as a travel vlog. Yeah, that looks good. And now, as you can see, the photos have been arranged in a particular order. And if you want to rearrange the photos, all you have to do is click on the particular photo and drag it to the position that you want it to be in. Yep, this looks like a good series. Since this is on Instagram, I would like to get it to around 30 seconds. So if you need to increase the duration of your particular picture, all you need to do is grab the handles of click on the particular photo that you want to stretch out and click on the handles on the two sides and stretch it out as many seconds as you want. So now I'm stretching it out to five seconds. The first one as well as the last one to five seconds, which will round off my video to 30 seconds. If this video was for IGTV, the duration of the video would have to be more than 60 seconds. So all I'd have to do is click on each of these photos and stretch it out maybe two or three seconds each, which would definitely increase the duration of the video altogether. So once that is done, once I like how this is looking, there are multiple elements you can add to this particular video to make it even better. So text would be one. If you feel like you need more photos, if you feel like you need to add more photos, you can definitely do that. Go to the media tab right here and click the plus button which will automatically prompt you to upload just the same way we did in the initial stages so you can do that as well so once you have done that i would go ahead and uh, figure out the animation for each so currently this is the this the animation for this particular picture is from le bottom to left which i like but not for the first one so i would like it to be a zoom out for this one Yep, I like how that looks. And now this one in particular is a zoom in, which looks great. And yes, this also, I like how this is animated as well. Here I notice that the, the picture is getting cut off. So what I do here is click this particular button, which helps me increase or decrease the magnification of the particular picture. So I just decrease it. Right, this looks perfect. And I just drag it to the top. There you go, it looks perfect here. So here, yep, that looks good as well. Great. So now another element I would want to add onto my video would be a title. This is just to showcase as to what exactly your viewer is looking for. So in this particular video, I would put the words travel blog on the first couple of seconds that the video is in. So now I would go to the text menu. I would click titles. I would search for something that would fit this video perfectly. This looks good, but it sort of clashes with the background. So I don't think this is the right choice for this particular video. I go ahead and keep searching. And I think, yep, I think this looks good. Now I just, all I have to do is rename it. Travel vlog. Now you can go and change the fonts. Maybe, I, yeah, I like how this looks. And it's a little, since the template is a little too big, I will reduce in size and place it right in the center. Right. 
there and nope almost yep got it yeah and now i'll just click play to see how it now one of the most important elements i believe in a video would be the background music i go to the audio menu and you have two options here either we our own music or you can choose one something from the existing music library so i can just give it a quick listen and i feel like pacific sun would be a good fit for this particular video or i think pacific sun is sounds good so like it says click to apply so all i have to do is click on it and it will apply it onto the videos yep i like how that sounds and the video is done now all you have to do is click export but if you feel like you want to uh, showcase this video on other platforms you don't have to do the project all over again all you would need to do is go ahead to the resize menu and choose a particular platform that you want to showcase it on so say you want to do it on youtube just press it and the project will resize itself if you feel like it's cutting off any of the important parts you can always like seen before you can always resize it to make sure you're not missing any of the important elements if this looks good you can click it same for the others as well so now i go back to my instagram because i liked how it looked can give it one quick last review perfect just go ahead and click the export button on top begin export yes done so if you want to preview it once more you can just click the button here and it'll preview the video for you if you like how it looks you can just go ahead and download it if you have a couple more edits you feel like you can add or subtract something just go click the edit button here will take you back to the workspace and that's a wrap this is how you can create an amazing video using your photos if you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and try and type it to the next time you need to create a video using your photos don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye